Youngstown Phantoms postgame interviews are presented by the YMCA. Jacob Fowler, Andrew Strathman, you are Clark Cup champions. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jake, can I get your thoughts on the game? Oh, Flipper, absolutely. It was, uh, it was a tight hockey game, uh, very well coached team. Uh, you know, they're obviously really structured and you know, to come away with that, that win was massive for this organization and for this city. So couldn't be more excited to be a Youngstown Phantom right now. And, you know, couldn't have done it without this guy, yeah, Andrew Strath, yeah, yeah, for sure. Stratty, you were out there so often against Fargo's top line. I'm pretty sure you held them off the score sheet for the entire series. How'd you guys do it? Yeah, obviously a good line. Uh, they play hard, but, um, you know, me and my D partner, uh, Chase Patella, you know, he's, he, uh, we work well together. So, um, you know, it was a good series for us, and uh, it's just how we did it. Is Chase Patilla the craziest defensive partner you've ever had? Uh... Yes, absolutely. Crazy Without a doubt. Made. Without a doubt. Fouls, but what uh, you know? What did you think was your toughest save of the night? To be honest, I don't. I don't really think about that much, Lipper. I don't think uh, it would have mattered if we won thirty to ten tonight. I think, whenever that final buzzer went, it was kind of just chuck everything in sight and go hug your buddies because uh, you know you don't get these opportunities very often, and you know when you do, you gotta enjoy it. And to do it in front of this crowd, in front of this city, I think it was something that. You can't even put words to it, so it's uh, it's gonna be a nice long celebration, and uh, definitely looking forward to that parade. Jacob, when you think about this group over the course of the season, what's the thing you're gonna remember the most? I, I don't think I'll think about the hockey at all. It's more just there probably isn't a guy on this team that you can't just go, you know, shoot it with or you know go hang out with. Like uh, all our team dinners, nobody sits with the same guys every time. Nobody's playing with each other on video games. It's you know it's an awesome group to be around. It's an awesome staff to be around. And, you, know, you truly enjoy coming to the rink every day, which is something that you don't get very often. You guys won 80 or 9 playoff games, you sweep Carter here to clinch it. Just walk me through what's this run been like. I think it's been unbelievable. I think uh, you know, that loss to Chicago in game two was kind of a wake up call that you know you can't win every game to a Clark Cup, but I definitely think uh, you know since that game it's been a different mindset that you know we are the team to beat in this league and you know right now we're sitting at the top and you know, it feels unbelievable. So you get that MVP honor on top of it individually. What's that mean to you? To be honest, I, the individual stuff, I mean, it's cliche, but, you know, that Clark Cup means a hell of a lot more than any of the uh, individual awards. So it's nice, but you know, to have that Clark Cup in our locker room tonight is something that, you know, words can't even describe. He deserves that award. A <laughs> couple more for him. You uh, asked after this earlier, it might be hard in the moment to think about this way, but you guys are always going to be known as the first team to win a Clark Cup in this organization. What's the support of Youngstown over this season been like? It's been unbelievable. I think tonight on its own before the, the celebration, I think it's a true testament to what Coach Ward's been preaching to us since day one, which is, you know, you want to turn this place into a hockey town. And to, to have 6,000 people here watching it tonight, it's, you know, win or lose, it's an unbelievable thing for this city. And, you know, I could be wrong, but you know, I heard that this was the first sellout in hockey history for Youngstown, which is, you know, unbelievable for us. And, you know, I think it definitely made it a hard place to play tonight. But you know, I think all that combined with the group that we have here it's you know it's a turning point in Youngstown hockey and I think the culture from here on out is that you know there is going to be a new king of the east and you know there's going to be a new king of the USHL now. Where, where have you seen the biggest growth with this group? Yeah I think obviously we're a young team you know, we're the youngest group in the league I think so to play a team like Fargo that's a lot older than you I think it's a it's a big learning experience and to come out with that you know you don't even want to think about the sweep but just to win that Clark Cup it's an unbelievable feeling and you know, it's going to bring a, a lot of maturity back next year for that group, and that's going to be led by uh, some guy pretty close to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> this one for both of you guys, actually. Uh, Ryan Ward, first year coach. Just talk about the work he's done with this group. What are you going out with? He's your guy. What did you say, sorry? With Wardo, just talk about the work that he's done with this group. Yeah, I mean, he's a first year coach, so um, coming in, uh, I, I'm sure a lot of guys didn't know what to expect. Uh, I, I kind of knew him before, so, um, and like, to sum it all up in one word, like he's a savage. Like, uh, I, I, and it's kind of funny, but um, uh, he's an unbelievable coach, unbelievable person. Um, you know, with the group, he's uh, always been, um, you know, pretty light with us, and just, you know, always had fun. And you know, when it's time to get serious, we get serious. But um, you know, I think, uh, I think right now he's the best, one of the best coaches in the league, and um, I can't thank him enough for what he's done for uh, our whole group this year. And um, what he's going to do for uh, the future of so. Yeah, him and I don't go back as long as him and Stratty, but you know, if there's one thing I can say about Wardo is, you know, since day one, you know, I've been lying to you if I knew that 
today would come. Always, you know, it's always in the back of your mind. But you know, since day one, he's always been preaching that you know you want to be a winner, no matter what you do in life, whether it's hockey, school, academic, you know, whatever job you have, it's just be a winner at whatever you do. So I think that you know confidence that he brings to our group that. No, we've played three overtime games this playoffs, and it was kind of all gone totally different ways. But just the energy he brings to that locker room, and you know, every single day to the rink is something you can't describe. So I wish I was coming back. I wish I could play for him the rest of my career, but I can't say enough good things, man. Thank you, boys. Yep. Thanks, Slipper.